In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the partial creation tools and run some simple commands on this subdivision. So when we're designing parcels, when we're designing lots, we usually start with a bigger area. So we'll take this entire area and we'll subdivide it down into some smaller, but still fairly large areas. And then we'll take these fairly large areas and we'll subdivide them down into the individual lots. So we'll take a big chunk of land, we'll subdivide it down into rows of houses, and then we'll subdivide it down into the individual lots themselves. Now we need to have closed polylines before we start doing this. There are some manual creation techniques, however, uh, I find the closed polylines are the faster way to do this. So I'm going to use the command B poly. And I'm going to hit pick points and I will select by five areas here. And then if we look at the command line, boundary created five polylines. So we can confirm that by clicking on these. Now you do have to have closed areas. You can't have any breaks in them for the B poly command to work. Alternatively, you could draw a manual polyline and just trace it trace your boundary and close it if you want that way. So after we have these five areas, I'm gonna go up to the parcel dropdown. I'll, you could also go through your ribbon as well. And I don't believe you can do this one through tool space. However, I use the uh, menu bar at the top. So we're gonna go parcels and I'm gonna select create parcels from objects. I'm gonna select my five areas here and I hit enter once. Up comes the parcel creation dialog box. And the first thing we see is which site do we want to place these on? Now I highly recommend watching my sites video because being that these are feature lines, these parcel lines are feature lines with elevation, uh, elevations that you can attach to them. If you have anything else on the same site that's overlapping them with different elevations, you're going to wind up having some trouble. So I'm going to name these parcels. So I, I know for sure that that should be the only thing on the site. I'm going to choose my style of lot. Here's my parcel layer, parcel segment layer. I want them to label it with an area and I do not automatically want to add segment labels. So that would be the labels around the outside here. And the reason for that is as we start subdividing this into smaller and smaller bits, our labels are just going to duplicate and duplicate and duplicate until we have an absolute mess of labels. I'm going to hit OK now. And Civil 3D has turned these red. I also kept the polylines underneath just in case we need them. So I have lot one, two, three, four, and five here. Lot one, if we zoom in, has an area of 6,167 square meters. And we're going to take this and we're going to subdivide it down. So under the parcels drop down, I'm going to create a parcel by layout. Up pops our parcel layout tools. And again, if you're looking for this window, it's under this hiding arrow right here. This gives us our minimum si our parcel sizing and automatic layout. So minimum area right now, 330 square meters. That is pretty typical in the city where I live. A frontage of 11 meters, frontage offset. So six meters back, the minimum width should be 11 meters wide. Minimum depth of 20. These are all from the city standards. Use maximum depth. Generally that's no. We don't have to worry about this being a maximum depth. It's about 35 to 40 meters deep. And then automatic mode. I tend not to use automatic mode so I can see what's happening as we do it. So there's a couple more options here. We can create a parcel, which we've already done that. There's a add a fixed line two points. So you could draw things manually. So I'm just gonna go and draw a couple of these lines just out here. So say we wanna draw a parcel there. And we want to continue adding to it. So we can add fixed points. We can add circles, we can add arcs, etc. 
but I tend to not use these manual tools. I go for the slide line and swing line cre uh, creates and even freeform create if you actually need it. Now let's take a look at slide line create and then we'll take a look at swing line create. So I'm going to select slide line. Uh, pops that same dialog box. I'm going to leave the segment labels off. I'm going to hit OK. And then Civil 3D asks us to select the parcel to be subdivided. I'm going to select my lot one. And then we're prompted to select the start point on the front edge. So I'm going to select around the end point there. And I'm going to trace along where the road is going to be. So the road is going to be around all around the top. And I want it to end over here. And we'll enter do that. Nope. Okay, let's try that again. Parcels create by layout. Slide line create. From here to there. Okay. So I start on the left, I work my way to the right. I'm gonna hit enter once. Civil 3D asked me if I want to accept this as a result. Now, taking a look at this, we notice a couple things about this parcel. It has a big corner radius here, so this resident, person who buys this lot, is going to be losing a lot of land up here. And also, the side lot line is perpendicular to the road. However, it is not parallel to this side over here. So I am not happy with this result because they're not going to have enough room on this lot, in my opinion. So I'm going to hit no. Actually, before I hit no, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to adjust this a little bit. So I'm going to go th 13. We'll go 13 meters wide. 13 meters wide. And as we see, the parcel has bumped itself out. I'm still not happy with this because... If we take if we put some labels on this, this line is the same direction as this line. So I'm gonna hit no. And I want to specify an angle. Either bearing or azimuth. So I'll just hit bear uh bearing. And actually there's an easier way of doing that. Let's add a label to this. So we'll go parcels. Add parcel labels, single segment, just to get the angle of this line. So it's 179.55.40. So I'm going to again go up to parcels, create parcel by layout, and slide line create. Hit the lot. You end up coming in and out of this dialog box uh, quite a few times. So in one of the previous videos, I showed you how to set up these automatic parcel sizings through the command. I highly suggest doing that. I'm going to change my minimum width to 13 again, just for this one lot on the side here. I'm going to hit uh, specify angle and we will do, maybe it's azimuth I want now. Yeah. So I want 179 degrees, 55 minutes, 40 seconds. So as we see, these two lines are now parallel. So I'm going to hit enter and accept that as a result. However, these next lots, I only want to be 11 meters wide because they're not losing the big corner section. So I'm going to accept that as a result. And I'm going to keep hitting enter and just watching what happens as we go along. Now, when we get to the last lot, we see that this lot is much wider than the 11 or even the 13 meters. This is up to 16. That is because we cannot fit another 11 meter lot in here. So Civil 3D usually dumps the remainder in the end. There are some automatic tools where we could space out the remainder between all the other lots. Or we could just say this guy gets a bigger lot and this guy gets a bigger lot. Alternatively, we could make this one a bit larger and shift everything over. So I'm going to go and show you the slide line create or a swing line create now. So under parcels, create parcel from or not object, create parcel by layout. I'm going to do swing line create. I want to hit 
my lot four. So start point on the front edge. I'm gonna come around my cul-de-sac here. And then Civil 3D asks for a swing point. So where do I wanna swing from? And we'll just select here. So what it does is it takes that line and it swings to where this lot would make sense. So this is 900 square meters, 500 square meters. And then we cannot do any more. So swing line is would work great for, say, in the end of a cul-de-sac where everything's centered. However, I just tend to use the, um, the slide line create and go perpendicular and space things out as needed. So let's delete these and just run that command quickly. Slide line create along this section. So again, I'm not gonna worry about this. This, this lot should be a little bit wider. However, as we get towards the cul-de-sac, we see that Civil 3D is starting to go perpendicular to the edge of the cul-de-sac instead of following the direction of these lots. Now we cannot build a house on this lot. We cannot have it smaller in the back than in the front. So I'm not happy with this result. I'm gonna have an azimuth and I believe it's just around 90 degrees. So I'm gonna hold that 90 degrees and then when we get farther into the cul-de-sac, I'm not gonna tell it to be 90 degrees. I want it to be perpendicular. So as these lots start going around your cul-de-sac, it's skinnier in the front and wider in the back. Now with the city of Cal uh, Calgary where I live, we can have a six meter frontage. As long as the minimum width is 11 meters wide when we're back away from the frontage. However, that is a not, not a very nice looking lot. So again, Look at what look at what you have here and try and decipher the best way of creating the lots. I'll usually come up both sides and then measure the length of this last arc and divide it from there. So that was just a simple parcel creation with the parcel creation tools.